Good evening, good evening on this beautiful, beautiful full moon. So happy that you're joining us here. And amazing, amazing moon out there. And here in Colorado, we have snow. So it's that amazing, you know, moonlight on the snow, glistening and brightening everything up. Um, so we're going to do a, uh, what's actually for me, a new practice. Kind of came through um, uh, a couple of weeks ago, where we are going to collectively generate a, a healing uh, circuit, a healing temple. We're going to go into the temple of the heart. And you can choose at some point um, if you want to be a recipient of that healing energy. So if you just want to like lay back and soak up the vibration, uh, that's fine. But there's also an option where you can be a generator, where we'll form a circle of healing energies, healing generators. And I'll give some instruction on that in a bit. But that's another option. For that, I would recommend you stay sitting up. Um, if you want to chant along with that, you're welcome to as well. Um, but I just invite you to stay muted for that because uh, we would have cacophony on Zoom if we all tried to chant at once. Um, we're going to be working primarily with the Medicine Buddha mantra tonight. That's Teya Ta Om Bekanze Bekanze Maha Bekanze. So uh, if you want to chant that, you can. If there's something else you want to chant to generate healing energies, um, I have Gabby here uh, who will be uh, chanting uh, for the feminine voice, chanting, engaging, and chanting the feminine voice. She's going to be working with some Kurandera. Kura, 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 corazon, and the Tara Mantra, so bringing in that feminine energy, which is really important in this time. And um, because the Medicine Buddha Mantra is very, oh, you know, it's that deep Tibetan male energy. So uh, we'll have some balance here with that. Um, so I was reminded recently of you know, we, we honor the full moon as a way to remember that these cycles, these planetary cycles do affect us, impact us, move us. And that, you know, the moon not only turns the tides, but the moon moves the crust of the earth and the mountains. We don't always feel this, but I've heard that at times in some places it's as much as 14 inches that those surfaces move with that rhythm of the moon, particularly at the full moon, where it just it's really pulling. The gravity increases, the energy is increased. So it's a time also for us to remember our sensitivity to feeling these energies. That's part of what Althor has told me as part of the rubric of this evolutionary human is really acknowledging and perceiving how sensitive we are to these lunar energies, planetary energies, seasonal energies, subtle energies. So that's another piece. Um, but also, we're going to do some magic tonight. And it's a reminder that the full moon is a beautiful time to, to do magic, whether that's chanting, uh, or sitting around the fire and drumming or engaging here, like sending out healing energy. Uh, it's a good time for making medicine. So th the magic we're going to work with is a combination of geometrics and vibrational transmission. So we're going to connect ourselves with this beautiful triangulation between the sun and the moon and the earth. So there's this triangle happening that is allowing the light of the sun to reflect off the moon onto the earth, and it's shining all over the earth. So we're going to connect into that triangulation with our own heart circuitry and then generate these healing energies with the chanting of the Medicine Buddha mantra. This is the Medicine Buddha up over my head here. And uh, if you want to be a generator, um, we're going to be generating a subtle blue energy. 
You can see here the Medicine Buddha is blue. Elias, do you have an image of the Medicine Buddha we can show online here? But it's that blue color is the, the emanation of the healing energy of the Medicine Buddha. So there we go. That's, well, that's a beautiful picture of the cosmos. That's not the Medicine Buddha. Are we going to get the Medicine Buddha in there? She's playing it. Oh, I guess not. <laughs> okay. Um, anyways, she will bring that up when she's ready. Um, so I want to talk through the logistics a little bit first, and then we'll go into the practice. So you can choose to be a recipient of this healing energy. If you just want to chill back, I invite you to lay down and just receive this generating. There's the medicine Buddha. See that beautiful blue radiance. So for those of you that want to be generators, you can visualize that you are generating this beautiful blue energy with the medicine Buddha mantra. And the more detail of how we will work as a generator is we're going to open the heart circuit. You'll be receiving energy through the crown and up from the earth through your root chakra. So those energies coming in, meeting in the heart, and then radiating out from the heart, that blue light energy. You can also send that from your heart into your hands. If you want to send with your hands, sending that blue energy. Yeah, so here's the heart circuit. So those the earth circuit and the sky circuit coming in through the crown, you'll be receiving this flow of energy. And then through those horizontal circuits, we'll be sending it out. And um, so those, if you're a generator, that's the visualization that you can work with. For um, both, if you are a recipient and a generator, if there's someone you want to send healing energy to, what we're going to do is put that in the chat. And then Elias is going to read those names aloud when we're in the practice. You can put your own name in there if that's what you want to do. But it's like, I don't know if any of you have participated in other healing circles that are live healing circles. We're just doing this remotely where we call out the names of the people who we want to send the healing energy to. So put those names in the chat, and when we get into the practice, Elias is going to read them. Um, yeah, that's that's pretty much, um, you know, the, the logistics. I'm going to go in and get the, all this circuitry connected, and then we'll start into the mantra practice. And uh, again, you're welcome to chant along if you want to chant a Tara mantra. The three... Energies we'll be invoking are the Medicine Buddha, the Kurunderas, the Kura Kura Kurunderas, and the Tara, Mother of Compassion. And we're going to send that energy into the triangulation of the Earth, Moon, and Sun. First, we're going to send it to the people on that list. Then we're going to send out to the whole planet and the people of Earth and allow that transmission from the sun to the moon to the earth to send that light down. And the final portion will be for each of us ourselves just to receive that healing energy. It's a very strange time on earth right now. And those of us that are energetically sensitive, it's just really good to uh, remember to nurture yourself, to receive, to come back into your heart center your truth center, your spirit center, so that we can remember who we are and why we're here amongst all the turbulence and confusion and chaos. Uh, and then, so yeah, I see some names going in the chat there. That's good. You can add those in as we will be starting our practice in just a moment here. I gotta... So I invite you to take a moment to close your eyes. Bring your hands to your heart. Just going to do an initial tuning and connection. 
visualizing, feeling your heart right in the center of your chest as a pearl of light, a beautiful glowing orb of light. This is not the anatomical heart. We call it the spirit heart. It is that home of the soul, the seed of divine consciousness. It is the portal into the mystic realms. And I invite you with your left hand to send a beam of energy from your heart through your arm out around. And we're going to connect everyone that is here in the room, that is here on Zoom, that will be watching this video in the future, connecting our hearts. And then you receive on the right back in. <laughs> So we're forming a circle, sending left, receiving right, connecting our hearts in the circle. We call our circle together on this beautiful full moon night mm -hmm. with the intention of generating healing energy for ourselves, for our friends, our community, for the people of the earth and all beings in all realms. We call on the healers, the Kurunderas, the Medicine Buddha, all of those that generate healing energy to come and be with us and guide us. That we may generate good cause, that we may remember and realize our beautiful, magical healing potentials, and that all beings may remember the light in their hearts. All right, so let's start that. We've got our circle connected. We have offered our intentions and invocation, calling in the guardians, ancestors, the healers, the spirit healers from the other realms. connect our heart circuits so from that pearl of light in the center of your chest you're going to send a beam of energy down through your root chakra down to the heart of the earth rooting into the earth On your next exhale, we send another spiral of energy up through the crown chakra, up, up, up into the stars, connecting particularly with the moon, that beautiful full moon in the sky, but then up more, up into the very heart of the universe. And then horizontally, left, right. So, Elias, you could bring the heart circuit. From my heart, I'm going to send a beam of energy. My left hand connecting into the web of light. Right hand sending, connecting. 
So now we have left, right, earth, sky, meeting in the heart, connecting us into quantum consciousness with all being. And then we do front and back. So from that pearl of light, we send forward beam of energy, sending behind beam of energy, connecting. Six axes of light, connecting our hearts into quantum consciousness, into the beautiful luminous tapestry of creation. And then we're going to work this evening with what we call the temple of the heart. So a double pyramid, when you want to bring the image up again there, Elias, right around the heart, we have two pyramids, base to base, one ascending, one descending. There it is, beautiful. This is a pyramid protection energy for the heart, but it also amplifies, but it contains that precious energy of our luminous heart. Bringing that into your inner seeing, your inner feeling. And I invite you now to dissolve yourself so that you are sitting within that double pyramid. Within the temple of the heart, sitting in a circle of your spirit guides, your ancestors. And in the center, floating, is that beautiful pearl of light, radiating diamond effervescence. We're sending that radiance out through the circuitry as we begin to chant. And the hue of the orb may take on that medicine Buddha blue. You might even see sitting within the orb, the medicine Buddha, like over my head, beautiful blue emanation. And as we chant, we are sending out through that circuitry, receiving that blue light through earth-sky connection, sending out horizontally or through your hands, connecting with the moon and the sun and the earth in this beautiful luminous triangulation.
So our first focus is sending to the people we put in the center of the circle. Elias can read their names. And we focus into the center of the circle, calling these people in. Monica, Monica. 
Focus from those in the center of the circle to transmitting through the sun to the moon, shining on the earth, sending this collective healing energy out to cover the planet and all the people on earth, sending beautiful healing energy all the places where healing and love and compassion and understanding is needed. Sending from your heart out through that circuit into that triangulation to the moon that it shines this energy that we are generating down to the people, all people on earth. Yeah. 
King of the healers, master healer, healing light, great healing light. Perceiving in whatever way is your mode, just that connection, the geometry, sun, moon, earth, heart circuit, generating Medicine Buddha lights to our circle, to the earth and the people, and into your own heart, into the temple of your heart. Double pyramids containing that sanctuary of your own heart radiance. You can begin to draw those energy beams back into your heart now, into that orb of light in the center of your temple of the heart. We give thanks to the circle of guides and guardians, the healers, the curanderas, And you begin to come back into your physical body, still feeling that temple of the heart geometry in your center. Can 
and residual luminous connections to the sun, the moon, the radiance of the earth, all connected into your heart center. Luminous seed of eternity that is within you. And we offer as a final pulse out from our hearts that this good energy that we have generated, this healing energy may go out for all beings in all realms. That all beings may be happy, that all beings may be free from fear, and all beings may dwell in equanimity and never be parted from true joy, from true joy. Namaste, namaste. Peace, sweet dreams on this amazing full moon night as your strands of light are connected into the super consciousness. Namaste. Oh, one thing, we release the circle around to the right, receiving back on the left, releasing the ancestors, the guides, the guardians. We give thanks.